We would be honored if you would join us. Hey folks, welcome back to another video. This is something I don't do too often. It's a bit of a discussion. It's a little bit of a discussion. Um, so I had recently had a bit of a bit of a request to do a review on this this here figure here from the vintage collection, the uh, VC thirteen from back in two thousand and ten. Still, not a bad figure. Let me just say, I, I do like this figure a lot. Um, could it be improved upon? Definitely. Now, I just, you know, with that, I just, this has just got thinking, you know. <laughs> this figure, this Anakin Skywalker from Episode 3, um, now I'd argue, you know, even included in the Ahsoka series through the uh, flashbacks of the World Between Worlds, is better time than any to give us an update. Um, and I argue for both scales too, Vintage Collection and Black Series, but... Uh, for the purpose of this video, we're going to talk three and three quarters. You know, there's a lot more history there. Um, so we're going to talk about that. Um, you know, this one here, typically on the left, is referred to as Darth Vader. So I do have the hardbacks behind, behind here. So when this first was released, it was actually labelled as Anakin Skywalker. And... Uh, wasn't until sort of fans, um, you know, let Hasbro know. I know, I know fans complaining about inaccuracies. Who would have thought um, that, you know, Anakin had actually become Darth Vader up until this point. So what they did is they essentially named the, changed the name pill to Darth Vader. Um, the original Anakin Skywalker card, they just changed the name. Some other figures from the wave, just for the point of that. So there's the first release of Anakin Skywalker from Revenge of the Sith. Not a great figure by today's standards at all. Um, but it would have been cool back in the time, 2005, you know. There's a better, a little bit clearer on this card back here. It's the same one. I don't have the Anakin one. I, I could have sworn at one point I did have the Anakin Skywalker, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't recall. It's you know a little bit hazy in the memory there now. But yeah, Revenge of the Sith, Darth Vader, and you know that's that's purely up to the individual. I think that's not. I don't think that's actually set in stone. I don't believe it's. You know, it's always been my interpretation that once he's in the suit, um, you know, and other people will say well, it's once Palpatine has dubbed the Darth Vader. But here he is. You know, he's got the Sith eyes. You know, they were sort of trying something different at this point in the vintage collection with the with the separate hairpiece to the head. It hadn't been done too many times up until then. You know, as far as 2010-11 goes, I think it sort of I think it worked. You know, it did sort of this was the original, the, still probably the best light side Anakin Skywalker figure going from uh, Revenge of the Sith. And this is from 2005. Well, at least the, the lower leg elements are. So it might even be a little bit older. I remember picking it up from the 2010 Saga collection. So this sort of shadow of the dark side packaging. And he was released as Anakin Skywalker. It might have even come out as Darth Vader in that packaging too, now that I think about it. But yeah, this is much more clearly, you know, Anakin Skywalker is a bit lighter in the face. You know, he's got the blue eyes, blue lightsaber. This is the hero Anakin. And there's a little bit of blue tack stuck in that peg hole, so it's not... Sitting on the peg hole as much as I'd like it to. Um, the main sort of downfall to this figure is the, uh, the crusty old swivel elbows. I don't know why they thought that was ever a good idea. <laughs> it's it's god awful. That's uh, 
yeah that's that's the sort of the main downside to this figure otherwise you know soft goods he's got a spot there for his lightsaber hilt he's got all the great articulation throughout the rest of the figure and even the head sculpt kind of looks nice it's it's you know definitely nowhere near to those standards which is why it needs an upgrade um but yeah i'd just, i'd love to see you know an anakin skywalker on a revenge of the sith card you know, swap out head so you can switch it over to to grumpy dark side anakin slash darth vader whatever your preference is and just make it a cool cool figure you know you can buy multiples of them and you know what i wouldn't even argue against putting an anakin out on a ahsoka vintage card with an image i did mock a little mock-up that i put in the thumbnail of the video um that i thought would would be a cool image of anakin um from the series to put on a card back i thought it would look really cool keep it in you know keeps it up with the relevant sort of media but you still get a beloved a now beloved character out on a uh, vintage card and updated version of anakin skywalker from revenge of the sith because there's not a lot of difference um in terms of the outfits and everything that they wore between revenge of the sith and the ahsoka series And just in saying that, I did get this one a couple of years back. No, this is sort of a, a you know a repaint, but this one was the uh, the 2013 Black Series Anakin, and this is the sort of updated one on the vintage card that's got the updated sort of photo realish paint apps on the face, and this still stands up as probably the best Anakin figure out there in my in my opinion. You, know, you technically can't use this outfit for for Revenge of the Sith Anakin because there's some slight changes, slight differences. Um, but you know, you could you can make use of some of the parts, I'm sure. There's three Hayden Christensen Anakin Skywalker action figures that are just begging to be remade, just begging. It's it's no better time than now um, with the relevance of Anakin being coming back into a couple of series with Hayden Christensen re reprising the role. I think it's a super important character to the lore. Um, and yeah, it's just, that was just just wanted to echo a few thoughts um, in regards to the this this figure. Um, I can't remember exactly who it was that did the request for for a review, but I thought it turned into something a little bit different. And uh, t just to sort of take a look at a couple of older figures. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Sound out in the comments below. You know, I was even thinking with the Revenge of the Sith card back, like like we've got at the back here, do another, do a new Revenge of the Sith with you know a good, a great picture of Anakin. Maybe during his duel with Dooku. On the invisible hand, that'd be awesome. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your time. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. May the force be with you.